Hey, welcome back. And today we're going to discuss masters and what is master in action. So if you worked with any other app, you always had some sort of reusable components in place. And Axure has masters exactly for that. Now, you might be a bit confused to begin with if, you know, if it's any different than, let's say, dynamic panels. And how is it different? Because if one is a container, another is container, how do you use them and how do you kind of interchangeably combine them to make uh, the best experience in the end? So dynamic panel is something which is kind of like an object or an instance of an object which has a switch. That's probably the best way to see it. And master is something you would want to review from page to page as a component. Now you can access your masters um, in Axure under this tab next to the libraries. As you can see at the moment, I have no masters. Let me just go ahead and create it. As you can see, I have these objects. And what I could do with it, I could either create a dynamic panel or I could make a copy. So let's say let's do both. I could create a dynamic panel with all the objects like this and say plus header let's see DP for dynamic panel and the next one I'm just gonna make a master with the same exact right click and as you can see it was gonna ask me what sort of master it is and I would say green menu let's say so I know exactly what it is and master appears a bit differently than the dynamic panel now both of them I could just place from page to page let's say if I have two pages in one of the pages, I'm gonna place that master and in another, I'm gonna place that master. Now, if I'm gonna go into my masters and into green menu, and I add some sort of, let's say, object to it for, for whatever reason, maybe it's, a, you know, a rectangle, a white one. And I now go to new page and new page two, as you can see it appears. So it's one single access point to edit the instances. Now for dynamic panels, if I would just copy it and go to this one and to this one and I edit one of them, the other one wouldn't be affected. So that's the key distinction between masters and dynamic panels. Now, how do you use masters to the best extent? Like how I try to use them is to use them for, let's say logos, menus, something which is constant, something which replicates from page to page. Um, another example could be a footer, it could be some call out menus, uh, drop downs, you know, anything what has to appear on every page and has to behave exactly the same. Also, sometimes you want to maybe deviate uh, from one instance to the other. So let's say, if it's an active state for let's say home button, what would happen then, you would want to probably create different uh, dynamic panel for that item. So let's say inside the master, I would just create a dynamic panel and call it, let's say, active ball. And then depending on which one is clicked of them, I would just take that active ball and I would just move it dimension wise to other things like that. And then these are going to become active instead of, let's say, creating multiple instances or panel states. So let me just demonstrate it really quick to you. Um, if I say that, let's say this is the default position, I would need to memorize where exactly in place it is. I would probably note it down. So let's say, you know, that home and I'm writing it actually down right now. X is 641, Y is 35. Then let's say if I click it on courses, it would be 78736. And support would need it at 95136. Great. So now by default, I would have it at home, let's say. If courses is clicked, I would just go and create a hotspot really quick and just move that ball next to courses. So on click, I would say move one of the widget actions. Uh, I would find active ball and to which location and that's 787 as I noted down and 36. I could even animate if I wanted. And I could also copy the same 
hotspot above the support and just edit the locations easily like that. 951.36. Boom. And now if we test it, and let's say I click on courses, it does that. And it's not a dynamic panel, so it's not switch state to state, as you remember from other videos. This is inside the master. Or I could even create dynamic panel for free items and make a switch. It's up to me, but master is a container which you can replicate on any page and then it would be reflected. Now, if you have massive deviations, you can just duplicate the same master and add deviations to that master. So maybe it's not green, maybe it just doesn't have any background whatsoever. Let me just delete it really quick, like that. As you can see, transparent uh, items now. So I could maybe say this is the default menu. And depend on the page, I could just switch both masters back and forth and just have them ready to just reuse, make any changes and make it smart. Uh, masters are really good functionality, especially when you know exactly what you want to achieve and what you're doing. You just need to be kind of cautious of which objects you're mastering and which objects you are making dynamic panels. But other than that, I think it's something you need to experiment and realize the potential of it. So hope this is helpful. If so, give a like, subscribe to this channel, leave a comment down below. And as always, stay tuned for more episodes on Azure Noob to Master Series.